So what has investors flocking to ETFs, and where should you be putting your money? Joining us now with some ETF plays for your portfolio is Christian Magoon, CEO of Magoon Capital. Christian, thanks for being here. ETFs have been taking kind of a beating lately because of the bad PR in that they're responsible for the volatility in this market. Yeah, the, the message is that they are responsible, but I don't believe so. When you actually look at the leveraged and inverse uh, ETFs, the size of assets is very small relative to the overall market. So uh, while these do have some effect on the market, most studies, statistical studies, show that it has little to no uh, effect. Remember, some of these uh, ETFs are both long and some of them are short, and they actually cancel each other out quite We've a bit. We've seen, though, like those short funds, double short funds, ultra short funds, really kicking in though when mark the market closes during that last hour that's right the portfolio managers need to reset the product on a daily basis right. so all their trades go in towards the end of the day and that does uh, create more activity but again the market cap of these uh, uh, these funds in total is not that large only about you know four to five percent compared to the overall market cap of the uh, investment place they're playing. you know you and I were just talking about the you know the original ETF it was created to save the mutual fund world. It was cheap. It was easy to trade because you can trade it all day long. The ETF world is out of control now. There are subsets of subsets of subsets, and they're more expensive now. Yeah, they are getting more expensive, mostly because new asset classes like gold or frontier markets or German bond ETFs are being launched, and they're more expensive to access. So the price of ETFs has come up because initially ETFs generally track things like the S&P 500, highly liquid securities that were very uh, low right. in terms of price And points. gold is one of your picks, the iShares Gold ETF. And again, many will say that because it's so easy to get into this, gold, the price has been pushed up. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it has given investors more access to own physical gold at about 25 basis points expense ratio, which is a quarter of 1 percent, a lot less than what you do uh, to pay when you go to buy actual physical gold down the street. You also like the Dow Jones Select Dividend. A lot of people have liked dividend stocks over the year, but I, I wanted to talk about your Wisdom Tree India earnings. That's your risky play. Yeah, I think uh, India has been unfairly beaten down here. When you look at all the BRIC markets, India has been the worst performer. Certainly had some issues with corruption and inflation. Year over year, for example, vegetables are up 28% in India. Man. Yeah, so they've had some issues there. But I think it, going forward, there's some great demographics uh, that should point to India recovering. I think they've been unfairly sold off. Where quickly should people go for more information on ETFs? Well, there's a few different sources. We have a goldetfs.biz is one website for gold ETFs. Indiaetfs.com focuses on India. Another great website is ETFDB for database.com. There's a variety of sources out there. ETF Trends is another. ETF Trends is a great website, actually. I, I use it all the time. Christian, thanks for bringing all this to us. Thanks, Tracy.